Hey guys, it's Marisha and spring is definitely knocking on the door. So I decided today we should make a delicious coconut cake and decorate it into a very cute spring bunny rump. Now this is so easy, anyone can do it. The difficulty level is probably added to. So we're gonna start off with some coconut cream, some unsalted butter, and some granulated sugar. And to that, we are going to add a few egg yolks. Now for the full recipe, you can just check below or go to mauritiuscouturecakes.com. All of the measurements will be there. Now we're gonna save those egg whites because we're gonna need them later on. So for now, we're just gonna whip all of our ingredients up until it's about doubled in size and a little bit paler and fluffier. Now I'm gonna add some buttermilk that I made myself, just whole milk and a little bit of vinegar. And then on top of that, I'm gonna sift half of my cake flour and my other dry ingredients, salt, baking powder, and baking powder. Baking powder and baking powder, okay. Baking soda and baking powder. <laughs> salt, baking powder, baking powder. Uh, now I'm gonna give that a light stir and then go ahead and add the rest of my buttermilk and the rest of my cake flour. Finish mixing that up, allow your flour to pop where it wants to pop, that's okay. And then I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and a little bit of coconut extract. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna whip up those egg whites along with a pinch of salt. And we're just gonna whip them to about firm peak stage. Then we're gonna add this gently to our cake batter. We just want to fold the cake whites in there because we don't want to deflate them. So that means cutting in half and just going all around the bowl and folding all those delicious egg whites into that cake batter. This is going to make it very spongy. I'm going to be baking in a bowl. I put a little bit of parchment at the bottom and I also grease the pan. You're also going to want to make a cupcake. Now that's going to bake for about an hour possibly. Mine baked for an hour. The cupcake only took 15 minutes. So once that comes out of the oven and it's cooled down, we can just go ahead, pop it out, and level it. And then we're just going to flip it upside down. Now I made some simple vanilla frosting. You can find the link for that recipe down below. The only thing I did was I added a couple tablespoons of coconut cream to the frosting as well, which gave it a really, really nice light coconut flavor. I'm coating this in frosting. I'm not trying to make it neat. I'm just trying to get some of the frosting on there. And this is going to be my crumb coat. And now I'm going to cover my cake in the final layer of frosting. This also doesn't have to be necessarily neat. You just want it to be a little bit smooth. But now we're gonna do the easiest part, the funnest part. We're going to cover the entire cake in coconut flakes. I have a piece of parchment down underneath of the cake so that I could just catch all those flakes and put them right back onto the cake. Now remember I told you guys to make some cupcakes. You're gonna have some leftover batter. So just go ahead and make a cupcake and we're gonna use this for the tail. I trimmed off the bottom a little bit to round it out. And now with a toothpick, I'm gonna to secure that cupcake upside down right on the top of the bunny butt. And I'm gonna cover it in some frosting and cover that in coconut flakes as well. We need a scenery. You always need a scenery with a cake. It's like a painting. I added a little bit of green gel dye to some of my vanilla coconut frosting and I'm just going to pipe out some grass. Now I have here some rolled out white fondant and I'm going to cut out two ovals making sure that they're the same size and these are going to be the feet. Now you can definitely make a cake ball and cover the cake ball in the fondant if you want more of a 3D effect, but I just wanted something pretty quick and easy that everyone felt like they could easily do. So we're just going to keep these feet kind of two dimensional. I'm cutting off little pieces of pink fondant and I'm going to roll these and they're going to be the padded foot bottoms of the bunny. I don't know how else to explain that. They're the padded foot bottoms of the bunny.
And then, like I said, super, super simple. We're just going to smooth out all of those edges, add a little teeny bit of vanilla frosting to the underside of the foot, and sit it right on there. And that's that. That's the bunny butt. I hope that it looks good. It's definitely like a spongy like consistency, which I thought was really cool. And it's definitely coconutty, but not overbearingly coconut. Couture and a coconut bunny butt cake. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. How are you? Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. We got my little slice of cake here, nice and itty bitty. Oh, good. First off, that frosting, adding a little bit of coconut cream into your frosting is delicious. It's like a cross between sponge cake and normal yellow birthday cake, which is funny. Nice and airy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to do something for you guys that didn't look too scary. I didn't want you guys to feel like, oh, I can't make that for Easter. It's very, very easy. The hardest part is literally cutting out the little circles or actually making the recipe because it is, there are a lot of steps in the recipe. You can use any vanilla cake recipe and just add some coconut extract or just some coconut flakes and even a little bit of coconut cream to that also. You've got a cool, cute, fast little uh, design that you could take and show to your friends and family. Also, I have to remind you guys, if you haven't entered the My Baker's Box giveaway, I'm going to be picking the winner next week. My Baker's Box is giving away a free subscription box, so you have to enter. You can go over to the St. Patty's Day video to find out the rules, and I'll leave all the information below. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. I love you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye.